What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. <laughs> Good lord. Why does everyone hate this trailer? My husband had made me sit down and watch The Crow, because it's one of his favorite movies, I guess. And I actually liked it. It felt very, uh, gothish. And this guy, for some reason, reminded me of the Joker. Obviously, the hairstyle and the makeup between Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and a little bit of Heath's... Heath's... Heath... Heath, Heath, good lord, I freaking hate English sometimes. You know, he's got some of that allure with a little bit of the Twilight Vampire thing going on. And I thought that's what the movie was actually going to be about, but turns out it's about revenge because they did something horrible to his fiance. And it was so horrific and unfair that even death was like, I'm going to do you a solid and you can go get those people. Now, I did see it like a while ago, so I don't remember every single detail about it, but there are certain scenes that stand out that when you look at the trailer, you're just judging the trailer by itself. The trailer feels like it doesn't stand up to the original. It feels like this person is cosplaying as the crow, but I guess I initially overlooked it because it's Skarsgård and I love him and let's not kid ourselves. Probably one of the only reasons he's getting this role is because he's very handsome. But yeah, there's a lot of things confusing about this trailer, but let's go through the trailer and just look at some stuff. If you guys want to watch the trailer straight through, you can just go to the video that has the trailer. <laughs> I'm commenting, so spare me the just let it play. There's That's why they have the trailer uploaded on their channel. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. Brilliantly broken. What a weird pickup line to say to someone. <laughs> brilliantly broken. Are they trying to get influence from Harley Quinn and Joker in the Suicide Squad movie? It feels like that's what they're pulling it from. They probably saw that and they were like, ooh, it's a bunch of people probably making Wattpad fan fictions of this. Let's just make a whole movie about it and just call it The Crow based on something everyone already knows, but let's just like Harley Quinn it up. I love you, just accept it. I am not someone who is love. I have an idea. Yes. Why not screaming at your face somewhere else? Uh, I was gonna say I wouldn't do that if I were you. This is what they were pulling from. And I, and I gotta admit, it's a decent idea because I'm sorry, this is like the only it sounds bad. This is the only part of the movie of Suicide Squad that stands out. To the point where after I watched this, I actually believed that the movie I had watched was called Harley Quinn and Joker, I had to like go back in the catalog in my mind and remind myself that this, no, this was just a piece of a movie that wasn't really that great called Suicide Squad. And as cheesy as this was, in my little Wattpad brain, I was like, yes, <laughs> this is so brilliantly, toxically delightful, and I'm aware of that, but it's still good. Yes, jump into that vat of chemicals for him. Fix him, girl! Fix him. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. My may be just what I need to buzz. No may just be what I need to buzz. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I didn't even know this is what this was gonna be. I am legit confused as to what I'm looking at right now. Oh my god. Wow. What is what is wrong with y'all? Yes, brilliantly br brilliant 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 brilliantly broken. So we know these two people already are together because they're both toxic AF, especially the girl. And they're all wearing pink outfits. Now either this is some kind of cult meeting or they're in some kind of rehab or they're crazy people and they're in an institution. Oh my, what is that? Oh, those are feet. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, girl, your putang is stink. <laughs> anyway, they're showing the whole intro of them being together, which honestly feels so surface level. I don't feel any chemistry with these people. I know this is just a trailer, and you know, we can judge a trailer. We might be very surprised that it turns out to be something really nice that we didn't expect, but the trailer is supposed to make us want to see the movie, so we can judge its presentation and how well or not it executed that. And, uh... The only thing I would even watch this movie for, to be honest, not because it's a remake of The Crow, it's, uh, it's just for Bill Skarsgård. That's, if I'm being completely candid with you, that's the only reason why. Because he's very nice to look at. 
that that's it. That's the main reason. You know when you like you know a, a lot of people are talking about Sid, Sydney Sweeney, I think that's her name. And I don't know what it is about that particular actress, but lots of people love her and they like looking at her. And that's the only reason they were even willing to watch Madam Web. I did a review on that by the way. You guys can go check that out. Lord have mercy, that movie was <laughs> woo. But yeah, I completely get it. Just wanting to watch a movie for some eye candy. And that is the only reason. And I feel like that's why people even chose him to begin with with the draw because it's not his acting. It's it's not really it's not really doing its thing in the trailer. Just saying. You feel like my person. <laughs> you feel like my person. My person? You felt like my per. The only other time I've heard someone use that word or terminology is in the, the show From, which I also did reviews on. Hey, anyway, the gr the 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 characters, the two main characters. Yeah, these two people, they're polyamorous and. When one of the girls sees that this girl, I forgot her name, she's with him, but yet she's making out with another girl and with other people. And the new girl who's completely confused that this is like, I thought you were with the old pretty boy over here, right? Like you two were an item. And she was literally like, oh, no, you know, this was nothing. That's my person. He's my person. But implying that he's her main piece. And she's his main piece, but everybody else is just like regular chess pieces. I don't know how to explain it without sounding like I don't know what I'm talking about, even though I don't. <laughs> but to hear people say that for some reason just sounds oddly uncomfortable. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. <laughs> what in the world is going on there? Ew, what in the hell kind of... Okay. She's like me. You, you go nuts when someone gets close to your ears. Like. <laughs> Ugh. I can. Whoa. Why, why is this a scene in the trailer? Why would this make people want to watch it? I just. I'm so confused right now. Ew. But intriguing. Ugh. It's none of them. Okay, right there, he does sound. He sounds like he's really terrified. I'm not even being sarcastic. He does sound like he's worried. Can you imagine coming in and seeing that? I don't even remember what the initial scene was, but I know what happened. And this is all fine leading up until this point. It's not horribly bad. I feel like their romantic connection was kind of odd, and I feel like it would alienate a lot of people. I just get that sense. They would just come off as two very strange people lacking any chemistry whatsoever, except for when he walks in this scene and sees her like this. Now, there's just me, maybe me seeing things through a critical eye, but I feel as though there are parts of this trailer that probably should not have been used to market this movie. That's just my opinion. Please don't do that! Wait, their hands are free. Is it just me, or or those bags look very thin? Usually when people, look at his smile, like he's busting a wet fart, you nasty fucker. The bags are very thin. Going back to that though, her hands are free, right? Are those her hands? They look like they're her hands. They're not restrained. Can you please explain to me why, unless these people lack basic survival skills, and when I say basic survival skills, not the ones you have to learn online on YouTube by watching some people in the backyard in their forest building freaking shelters under the ground. I mean, basic instinct and human reasoning that everybody should have by a certain age. Wouldn't you all possess that to know that if you have a very thin paper bag over you that you would just use your fingernail to poke through the hole where your mouth is and to claw at it to get it off? I, I know people panic. But the most logical thing to us from the outside looking in, but also, ironically, the most instinctual thing that people would do when they have something impeding their respiratory system is to claw at it. Whereas you would use the fingernail apparatuses upon your fingertippies and scratch this thing off of your face. And this does not look like, this isn't a regular like big old hefty garbage bag that you have to push a knife through in order for it to be pierced. This is a very thin, it looks like the bags that they sell at Walmart so you can put your avocados in and your tomatoes and like God forbid you blow on them, they tear open. 
It looks like those type of bags. And he's like, "Uh uh-huh, I got you now. And she's like, oh no, oh, look at the very thin plastic bag that you have over my face. I'm like so helpless right now. Oh, stick it in. Sorry, I can't take this seriously. I'm so tired right now. I'm sorry if I'm coming off like weird. I just, what am I kidding? I'm, I am weird. But this, 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 this scene is just so unbelievably stupid. I can't take this seriously. I know it's a movie. You're not supposed to take it seriously, but good Lord. Just leaving it at this. Just look, she's like, oh, I'm dying. And he's just holding her there with the thin back and her hands are not restrained. And you know this, his hand is on her head. Her, her hands are here. It's almost like she's helping him keep it over her neck. He's not strangling. It's just... <laughs> oh, oh, wow. This is, this is, I can't take these bad guys seriously either. Did he die too? Come on, dude. <sighs> Why'd they have to use a song? I really hope that when I want to enjoy some Post Malone and Ozzy that I don't remember this i am i'm kind of like when i heard the song like oh the song is supposed to make it seem better but now i have a feeling that to my chagrin i'm gonna associate this trailer and the foolishness of it with this song so every time i now hear this song it's that's what that's what's gonna be in my head i, I it's one of my favorite songs and this is coming from someone who didn't even know who ozzy was until like recently the last few years no, when, when, when I watched that movie with my father, Little Nicky, I still didn't know who he was. He was the dude who bit the bat's head off. Then I found out he was a real person that actually did that or didn't. I don't know, but he's an actual dude who s does rock music. And then my husband introduced me to more of his stuff. And I'm like, dang, okay, I, I get it. He's all right. But then I really started liking when I, when he teamed up with Post Malone. I'm like, okay, now this, this was this. I love mashups and this was just perfect. So the song is a great choice but not for this. <laughs> this is, what an odd thing to have someone use your song for. It would be very unfortunate if people who love the song and this movie turns out to be the worst things ever, now they think about this whenever they think about Ozzy's song with Post Malone. That would be so sad. When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. Interesting. What if this, what if the crow dies while it's carrying your soul to the land of the dead? You know, what if this, the, the, I guess they're like the death storks or something. So what if while the crow is en route to carry you to the dead, he gets, something kills him. Now what? Does another crow come and pick up where he left off? Or does your soul just sit there like, well, my crow Uber's dead now. I guess I'm just going to roam the land. Is that what happens? If this is something that was already covered in the first movie, I'm sorry that I'm bringing it up and I'm acting like I don't know because it's just, it's been long enough that this movie just completely went out of my brain. But sometimes something so bad happens. I told you, he's cute. Like, that's the only reason he got this role. He's, 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 he's cute. I don't know if he's the right fit and he doesn't even have the hairstyle like the original guy, but I guess, I guess, we'll see. So bad happens. And the soul cannot rest. Is he being baptized? What's going on here? I guess we'll find out when we watch the movie. Until you put the wrong things right. Maybe he was in the land of the dead. What is that hairstyle, bro? If skunks were humans, that's the hairstyle they'd be rocking. And so he's in love with her and she's in love with him. I don't know if she was the, the best fit for this. And by saying that, like, how are you going to have Bill Skarsgård? And then have that. Like, I'm, and, and I don't mean that in like a really bad way, but like, <laughs> it doesn't matter how I say it, it's gonna sound bad. I'm not even gonna bother trying to mince it up. But how are you gonna have Bill Skarsgård and have someone who's like six levels under him? Maybe I'm just being really biased, but I figure if you're putting a really pretty person in the cast, like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie in that movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that was perfect. Cause they were like the two prettiest people. They fit each other very well. They were both really nice to look at. I actually checked out a few shows when I saw that one person looked not kosher. The anime, like I'll watch, I'm like, ooh, the anime girl's hot. The, the anime guy has to be a little bit hot too. If he looks jacked up and he doesn't ever get any better, I'm like, mm, I, I, I gotta check out, no, no. <laughs> 
it just kills it for me. It's like one, there's one I want to watch, but the dude looks like a whole entire refrigerator. I'm not even trying to be mean. That's literally how they drew him. They drew him like a human square or rectangle. And it just took me out of it. Like I couldn't, I can't. And he looked, mm, no. Or then like the recent show, some other show where there's a man and a woman, I'm pretty sure they're going with the, the, the romance angle. And the guy is really good looking. And I'm like, ooh, I can get with this. And then you see the chick and she's not even like average looking. She just look. She just looks like, you know, like your foot bottom after you've been standing in the shower for a while. Never mind. It, the point of the matter is she's not ugly. She's very pretty, but she's not as pretty as him. It's for me personally, it's super distracting. I don't know why. It just, it just is. So the guy shoots him and he doesn't die. He's like, oh, oh my, look at my body. Gotta look hot when I die too, bro. Mm, gotta look, gotta make that, uh, that, uh. TikTok face. I don't know what you call it. The dudes who go on TikTok and they all make this face, every single one of them, and then they rub their hand on their chest and then they, they do that thing with their jaw where their jaw doesn't naturally sit like that. But to make it look more angular, they pout out their bottom jaw to make it look like their jaw looks naturally like that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. He's so concerned with looking pretty. Why are his traps so freaking large? Anyways, he's so concerned with looking pretty even as he dies. Kind of takes me out of it a little bit. Or a fat god. The way he fell in the water. Gotta look pretty. Oh, did I fall right, master? Did you catch that picture? Mm. I look good from every angle, right? I gotta make sure I look good all the way down, bro. I'm dying and I'm drowning, but smolder. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna even bother looking at the rest of this. Did, no, oh my God, no, I can feel it happening right now. I can feel it in my liver tip. The song is gonna get ruined for me. The lyrics, my bones will break and they show his bones breaking. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, this is really bad. There's half of this trailer left. A little bit over half of the trailer left. Please go watch it yourself. I I've said what I needed to say. I don't want to ruin the song. I care more about keeping the integrity of my enjoyment of the song than freaking reviewing the rest of this. The only thing I can say, because I did like, when I did watch or skim through it the first time, I was super preoccupied with other stuff going on. So I wasn't really watching it. I was like, oh, Bill Skarsgård. Oh, Ozzy. And that was it. I wasn't really watching what was going on. I wasn't watching what was being marketed to me. I wasn't paying attention on what the studios or whoever created the movie was expecting me to pay attention to, to make my make up my mind whether or not I wanted to spend money on watching this movie. But man, it's gonna ruin the song for me. I know it, I know it. So that being said, is that the guy from Larry David? No, I've seen him somewhere. Where have I seen him? Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's one scene, I'm gonna skip past. I'll just do one scene before I, I, I skip past all of this. There's a scene where he meets somebody. He's like, oh, you're dead. And it's it's a scene that mirrors the original, but just lacks all of the, the tone that the original had. And I know that when you're remaking stuff, you gotta change them. I also would argue that you don't have to remake everything. I think the old movie was fine as it was, but at least if you're gonna remake something, make it better. Killed you. Yeah, you did. Maybe it's the way the trailer is edited, but he's like, he just comes up, boom, check me out. I'm alive, bro. And then the bald headed dude is like, look at you. Mm -hmm. Such an inconvenience. Like, I, I killed you, right? Like, fuck. <laughs> It would have been more meaningful and impactful if he just didn't say anything. But then to have Bill Skarsgård say, yeah, you did. Gotcha. Like, it sounds so weird. What in the arcade is this movie, bro? No, don't get me wrong. The movie might be a good movie, but the trailer is not doing it any favors. And the way that people are delivering their lines is just bizarre. Why? I, I, uh, and you think I'm being crazy. Look at the original scene. Ancient history. Why? What do you want? What is it? What? Speak to me. Speak. Did you send us these complaints? Come here. A bash. So the guy is remembering. They see, they show, and they don't tell. You can tell what the guy is thinking. You can see what's going through his head. And granted, they might do this in the Nero movie too. But you've got to understand that people are coming from this. A lot of the fans are coming from this. Hence why you use the same name. You're try probably trying to draw them in. Let's not kid ourselves here. And all of this is running through the villain's head. And he comes to the realization. You can hear, almost hear the gears turning in his head as he's processing seeing someone he believed was dead. Devil 
little stud? Does it get you sweaty? I know you. I know you. I knew I knew you. I knew I knew you. But you ain't you. You can't be you. We put you through the window. There ain't no coming back. This is the really real world. There ain't no coming back. We killed your dad. There ain't no coming back. I love that. The actor is so good. It's not the best acting ever, but he was at least believable enough because as he's speaking, you can tell he's processing. He's like, yeah, we, no, 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 no. You, that, what I'm looking at right now doesn't make any sense. Not, hey, I killed you. There's a very big difference, stark difference from what we're seeing in the new trailer. And the wonderful thing about this is that the crow, the crow guy, Brandon Lee, what I believe based on what the comments were saying in this clip, the video, that he passed away. And so this was actually not him in this scene. I, I don't think so. That's why he didn't talk, but it worked so well for the scene that he didn't say anything. This person wasn't worth his words. There ain't no coming back. There ain't no coming back. The best the devil stood. Awful goodness. Awful goodness. <laughs> he said goodbye. Oh, that was great. He didn't even, he didn't grace him with any speech whatsoever. And we know why as the audience, but in universe, this was just chef's kiss. He put it right in the crotch too, so that's gonna blow up first. He did that for a reason. Wow. See? So much more impactful. You can't take a scene like this and then mark that part, mirroring the old original, and then have it come out like what we got. I killed you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not sick. <laughs> And the rest of this trailer is just full of these pointless fancy shots trying to make us feel something but just really just leaves us feeling uh underwhelmed i feel like they were trying to do a john wick thing the part that was the most confusing to me was a part of the trailer where they said these tattoos are so distracting and they're not they're not even good like what, what did you do bro were you high when you got these stenciled on you and this is what i'm talking about from the profile this woman looks like his mother but you're running out of time to save her save who why is why why would you make it remake this so that she gets saved like i get that people want a happy ending and stuff but wasn't the whole point of the movie just to bring justice upon those devilish fiends that did something so atrocious that he had to not sink into the depth of the dead to make things right before he could be laid to rest was that the, you know you can have stories like that that's what worked for the crow you can have stories like that they don't need to be saved all the time sometimes you just have to let them go like john wick he he didn't get to save his dog. He brought upon justice and vengeance. and It was fine for that. And they seem to be pulling on a little of that for this movie. Maybe it's a red herring, but I guess they're like, you know what, let's remake the crow, but give him a happy ending this time. Then don't call it the crow, call it something else inspired by it. Ugh, I swear. But you know, you never know. Maybe this movie will be the most badass thing ever. Let's check back at this video after it's released to see if, if I was right in that it actually sucks, but I have a feeling it will suck. But please tell me, come back and tell me, those of you who are in the future right now, if I was wrong. Because I will admit that I was wrong if I'm wrong.